Okay, here is module two, lesson one, problem set number five. And we're going to solve a multi-digit word problem using a tape diagram. Here I set up some steps that we're going to follow as we talk through this problem. So let's look at it. It says, in your walk two kilometers, 309 meters from school to the store. Then she walked from the store to her home. If she walked a total of five kilometers, how far was it from the store to her home? So we just read the problem. Next, we need to underline and circle important information. The first thing that's important is uh, in your walked two kilometers, 309 meters from the school to the store. The second thing that I noticed that's important is that she walked from the store to her home. So that's important to know. And she walked a total of five kilometers. So I'm just going to circle this because this let me know the total distance that Inya walked. And I'm also going to circle the question because this is what we need to find out. How far was it from the store to her home? All right, so we identified step one. We went through that procedure. So step two says, what do I know? Everything that I underline is what I know. So we know that in you walk two kilometers, 309 meters from school to the store, and then she walked from the store to her home. And the total distance that she walked was five kilometers. And what I need to find out is how far was it from the store to the, her home. So this is what I need to find out here. So I need to pick a strategy. What I'm going to do is use a tape diagram. The tape diagram says, well, I'm going to use a tape diagram to show the total first of all. Her total distance is five kilometers. So I'm going to identify this as the total. The next thing I need to do is find out, well, it's already identified that and you walk two kilometers, 309 meters from the school to her store. So I'm going to draw another tape diagram of equal length. And what I'm going to do is take part of five kilometers, which is to two kilometers, 309 meters. I'm going to use that to show part and which this is about half. So I just put that here. So I have two kilometers and I also have 309 meters. So what I'm going to do is draw a little, uh, I like to call it a, a little mustache to show the distance from here to here is five kilometers and here this is going to be part of the whole, do better that way. And we know this is the distance in your walk from from the school. So I just put school, school to store. So I just want to identify what this is. And what I don't know is how far she walked from the store to her home. So I'll put a question mark here. This is what I need to find out. So this is the store. store to home. That's what I need to find out. All right. Make that look a little better. Make that E stand out. There you go. A little messed up, but it's home. All right. So that we use a tape diagram. So we need to find out, should I add or subtract? No. If I go back and look at these numbers and I say, well, I need to add. If I add these two numbers, that's going to be more than my total. So that would make sense. That would be like seven kilometers, 309 meters. And that's more than a total distance. So obviously, looking at that, I need to subtract. So I need to subtract five kilometers from two kilometers, 309 meters. So let's go ahead and write that over here. Here are five kilometers. And I'm going to subtract that from two Whoa, let me erase that, make that look a little better. So I'm going to get the pin back here. So we have two kilometers and 309 meters. 
so we need to subtract this. All right, so you notice that I don't have any meters. So I can actually put some zeros here in place of having nothing. So I'm just going to write zero there. So this is actually 5 kilometers is the same thing as 5,000 meters. So I just put an M here. This is zero meters. So now I can subtract this number. Now I can't subtract 0 minus 9. And I can't borrow from the tens because I have zero tens and I have zero hundreds, so I can't borrow from the hundreds, but I can borrow from the thousands. So I'm going to make that a four so I can borrow and I'm going to move a base ten here and I'm going to have to borrow and add that ten here. So now if I do a reverse order, if I, I can't subtract, I can subtract zero minus zero. But notice, I need to borrow from the tens in order to subtract this in the ones place. So in, in that case, I need to move a base 10 here. And that is going to take a 10 from here. I'm moving a 10 there. So now I'm going to make the 0 a 10. But I need to borrow from the tens for the ones place. So I am going to borrow here and I'm going to move that base 10 that I borrowed from and move it to the ones place. So now I can go back and say 10 minus 9 I can subtract 9 minus 0 yes 9 minus 3 and 4 minus 2 I just like to go through those series of questions to make sure I can subtract and make sure I borrow correctly. So now let's go ahead and subtract 10 minus 9 is 1 9 minus 0 is 9, 9 minus 3 is 6, and 4 minus 2 is 2. So I just write this back in, 2 kilometers and 691 meters. Okay, and this would be my answer. So let's go back. I subtract. Yes, I did. Well, I can go back. I found that out. I did step three, solve the problem. Yes, did I show my work? Yes, I did. But let me do a final step and let me check my work to make sure that's correct. So these two numbers should equal my total because that's why I want my tape diagram at the bottom to equal the top number, which is my total. So let's go ahead and add these two numbers. We have two kilometers and 691 meters and we're going to add that to 2 kilometers and 309 meters alright so this is we're going to add these numbers so 1 plus 9 is 10 and so what I'm going to do is carry that one over here 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 0 is just 10 so I'm going to put my 0 here and carry the 1 over to the hundreds place and now I have 1 plus 7 I mean 1 plus 6 is 7 and 7 plus 3 is 10 so now what I need to do is carry that 1 over to the thousands place and now I say 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 2 is 5 now I bring my unit measures, measurements down as 5 kilometers and 0 meters. As you can see, that equals my total. So now I can write my answer, which, which is 2 meters, 691 meters. So this is my answer here. It's a circle so it can stand out. So now I can say how far was it from the store to her home it was two meters six hundred and ninety one meters